Being a creator myself, I absolutely love the idea of being able to speculate on reputation. I find YouTubers all the time that I love to support, whether it be purchasing their merch, their products, whatever it may be, I love to support them. I love to be a part of their community. And so whenever I heard of this idea of being able to speculate or trade based on their reputation, that of course piqued my interest and it would be something that I would absolutely get into the second that it was available to me. However, BitClout, which is really the main platform that went a little bit viral and that everyone started to talk about in terms of being able to trade reputation, especially since they were listing people on the platform, such as Elon Musk, uh, Mr. Beast, Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, all of these people that didn't necessarily agree to be on the platform. However, they were doing it anyways, and there was some other sketchy stuff behind it. So it really wasn't for me. But I think the conversation around BitClout completely covered up the rest of the ecosystem that is actually trying to compete for a similar outcome in terms of the ecosystem of social tokens. Now, before I get into the video talking about social tokens and some of the main platforms utilizing social tokens and the potential use case for social tokens, make sure to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And also make sure to check out my video on Black Swan, which is a project that I'm launching. It is my first cryptocurrency. This is a project that I'm very excited about. Basically, it's an anti-fragile cryptocurrency that goes up when the market is uncertain. So if you'd like to learn more, feel free to join the Telegram down description down below. But without further ado, let's get right into talking about social tokens. And first, I wanted to start with an example, as I believe that this is the best way to try to understand what social tokens are trying to accomplish. Now, the first social token that I was aware of is this token called Friends with Benefits, and it's not what you think. A friends with Benefits token, uh, basically the idea behind this is creating a closed door community where you need to purchase the token in order to gain access to it. So first you can just see here, this is on CoinGecko. It has a market cap of 3 million. I believe it was higher in the past, as you can see from the chart here. Um, the current value is $5.30. Uh, and you can see that there's been relatively high demand for this token. And how it works if you go to the Friends with Benefits website is basically once you've purchased 60 Friends with Benefit tokens, then you can join the Discord for free and they host events on there talking to different people in the cryptocurrency space, uh, trying to set you up with good connections. And basically it's just a community of like-minded individuals that all have to put some skin in the game. They all have to purchase some tokens in order to gain access to it. And the idea here is that since people are putting their money into the community, since people have to purchase tokens in order to join the community, they're going to be more incentivized to be active in the community and to try to make the community better. Whereas if I just put a free community in the description down below, uh, like the link to Black Swan, uh, then maybe it won't be as active as something where you have to pay to get into it or put some money into a token in order to try to get into it. Now, while this sounds amazing, and it actually was amazing, it was massively successful, there is one caveat, and that is the price here that you can see on Coin Market Cap. So you can see one distinction here on Coin Gecko. There's Friends with Benefits Pro, and here this is just Friends with Benefits. So it's clearly something happened. Price spiked all the way to sixty dollars, and then it subsequently crashed. And you might think this is a rug pull uh, or some sort of scam, but actually what happened is the platform that this token was built on uh, was hacked. And this is a platform that I'll be talking about in just a minute. However, due to this hack, the token and many other social tokens lost almost 100% of their value. So this was a major thing that set back this entire sort of niche in the cryptocurrency markets. This hack really collapsed a lot of these tokens when they were at their peak. Um, and so if you haven't heard of this token before, this is probably why. And this is probably why the space hasn't evolved as quickly as it could have. Uh, mainly because of this very, very large hack. So what are these platforms that I'm talking about? Well, the first platform that I'm talking about is this platform called Roll. And you can go to their website, tryroll.com. And here you can see a majority of social tokens. And in fact, they also have the largest social token, uh, which is this token called Whale. Um, and I'm not gonna get too much in detail into this token. I don't really know too much about it. Uh, and it's not really of interest to me. However, what you can see from this platform is that there are many, many, many communities that are trying to get into this social token idea, including uh, this token right here, the Bitcoin family, uh, which is a YouTube channel with I think around 60,000 to 100,000 subscribers. I can't remember exactly. However, it's really interesting that you can have a YouTube channel that creates a social currency worth $3.3 million um, and with the rewards that they are able to select. So you can 
see here that you can get a discount with their the currency. You can get uh, all these different things. Um, and the idea of these social currencies is to replace existing products. So think about a lot of major creators on the YouTube platform. If you look at even cryptocurrency creators who have a Patreon or a Discord, a majority of the time they have some sort of monetization aspect to that platform. However, the idea is that with a social token, instead of paying a subscription to Patreon or instead of paying a subscription to join their Discord channel, you can instead have a token, an actual speculative token uh, that the community can interact with in order to try to gain these rewards and benefits as opposed to just purchasing it uh, with a subscription or whatever else as a one-time payment just with regular currency. Another platform that offers this that I think gives another really good example is called Rally.io. So to be clear, I believe the only platform that has gotten hacked was Roll, and I believe they relaunched since the hack. However, Rally.io, I believe, has never been hacked before. Um, and what this is, is basically the same thing. You have a bunch of different creator tokens. An example here that I actually participated in, and with this coin, if you purchase it, this is actually the founder of Rally.io, then you can give different benefits with this token. So I actually purchased the retweet your post uh, from the creator of the Rally platform, and it was only $30. So you can see uh, it costs one coin to retweet your post, and I did that. And you can see here that the Black Swan token tweet was retweeted by the founder of Rally.io for only $30. So this is an application of how these tokens can be used in the future. And you can see here that he offers other services um, where you can pay him a bunch of his coins to give you advice on a startup uh, or to receive feedback on a pitch if you want to give if you want to uh, talk to him, etc. There are many different applications that you can use with these social tokens, uh, and I think there's a lot of opportunity here. Now, the controversy with social tokens comes from the idea that it seems a little bit predatory or even negative for the community of the creator. Because think about it this way, a lot of these platforms try to advertise these social tokens as freeing you from the platform. So, you know, you can say, screw you to YouTube. You don't need to rely on monetization from them. Uh, you don't need to use platforms like Patreon. However, the thing is, when you are in a certain creator coin community, you are still beholden to the holders of your token. And in a way, it still does tie you down. It's just going to be a little bit different than if you're relying on something like Patreon. Now, the other thing I would also like to mention is that it doesn't need to be one way. You don't need to make it a creator coin like Rally has set up where you can just get a few exclusive benefits. I believe the most interesting utilization of these social tokens is to build communities like this, where you can have skin in the game in order to gain access to a community. And then once you no longer have interest in that community, then you can sell it to someone else who can then join that community for you. I think that programs like this are much more interesting. And I think there's so much innovation that can happen in this space. Clearly, there's a ton of interest, as we saw with BitClout. People want a way to be able to trade reputation or interact more closely with creators on different platforms like YouTube and Twitter, etc. And so once a platform actually comes out that does this well without getting into all of the regulation around securities uh, and everything like that, and is able to do something really interesting and unique, like friends with benefits, uh, or an idea that I haven't even thought of yet, then I think that that has a massive chance of succeeding. And this is a sector of cryptocurrency that I am personally going to be watching very, very closely uh, to see what ends up making that innovation and completely revolutionizing social tokens as we know it. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the topic that I covered. I thought this was super interesting. When I first heard about social tokens, my mind was absolutely blown with all the different ideas that could possibly happen with this. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next one.